In 2000, my daughter Megan was four years old and I knew something was up. She wasn't herself. I took her to sick kids, which ended up being the longest day of my life. After a full afternoon of tests, we found out that Megan was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. Brain tumors are the leading cause of cancer-related death in children and young people. Well, brain tumors in children are at times very difficult to treat. The chances for survival are fairly small. What I think is very important to know is that pediatric brain tumors in general are increasing in our population. Shortly after Megan passed, I kept dreaming and envisioning this human hug around the hospital that had treated her. Megan's hug shares a message of hope and raises awareness and funds for pediatric brain tumor research. Right off the start, I wanted to put awareness to the seriousness of brain tumors, to raise funds for the doctors. I also wanted to bring families together who've lost their children as a chance to celebrate them. When Maya got brain cancer, she was having a hard time doing stuff. They told us she had six to nine months to live. Maya was um, very kind, a great sister, and she was funny. I was in a wheelchair and the nurse wheeled me to the window and that's when I saw all the walkers and everyone waving up at the hospital and it felt very special. Giving that hospital a hug that very first time was so incredible. The part where people join hands, it is something that becomes very meaningful. I think that that makes us a pretty lucky place to have something like this, motivated by one woman, one mother. Megan's hug is more than an annual hospital hug. Our impact extends through the year with our Kids Helping Kids school program. Megan's hug allowed me to connect with different students to understand their struggles and realize that there is a Megan at every school somewhere that really needs our help. When you bring something like Megan's hug into a school, what we found is that it really engenders a lot of student leadership. They're actually doing something more than raising funds. And it's empowering for students to understand that it's students giving back to students, children giving back to students, and kids helping out kids. We're very excited that we have a fellowship program that supports doctors all around our world that come here to Toronto, and then they can bring their experiences and their great work here back to their own countries. And what they do in research and the raising of the funds for these incredible children, we can make a difference and let's never give up. Solidarity. When it comes to these kids, we're all for one and one for all. Together, we hug. Together, we hug. Together, we hug. Together, we support. What he said. There is not a single brain tumor meeting that goes by without a rave comment on the role of Toronto in these advances. And this would not have been possible without the tremendous support from various sources, in particular from Megan's Hug. Megan's Hug has filled a huge need at Sick Kids and around the world, raising awareness of brain tumors in children and providing support for state of the art research to unravel the mysteries behind these tumors. I have been delighted by and in awe of the progress I have seen in this field through the efforts of the Megan's Hug team. Although we can't join hands around the hospital this year, because of your generous support, we can celebrate 20 years of hugs, 20 years of groundbreaking research, 20 years of global impact, 20 years of changing the world of brain tumor research and children's lives. Love is a river that runs through and through. Love is a river between me and you. Hope never loses its way, this is true. Cause love is a river that runs through and through. Love is a river that runs through and through. Love is a river between me and you. Hope never loses its way, this is true. Cause love is a river that runs through. Through and through. 
20 years of hope. Hope changes everything. Hope changes everything. Hope changes everything. Come in is my hero. Together, we hug. I think the world is waiting for our hug.